But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. And yes, it is an office with a long-standing reputation as one of the best in the country. I do. <laughs> I Kamala Davy Harris, the Salmon Square. The focus has shifted to Kamala Harris. Biden has endorsed her. She is his vice president. Now he wants her to be the Democratic nominee. Logistically, she's the natural heir. But as we've discussed, the path may not be so easy. And yet, Kamala Harris is no stranger to difficult journeys. She was born in 1964 in California. Both her parents were immigrants. Her mother was Indian, her father was Jamaican. Both had come to America for education. When Kamala Harris was seven, her parents got divorced. She was raised mostly by her mother, Shamila Gopalan Harris. She visited India as a child and grew up close to her Indian heritage. But she was also close to her black identity. She went to study at Harvard University, one of America's premier black colleges. That's where she delved into politics and civil rights. After that, it was law school in San Francisco and a job at the district attorney's office. All was going well, but Kamala Harris wanted to do more. So in, 20, in 2003, the year 2003, she ran for district attorney. It was quite successful a campaign and Harris won. She became the first black woman to be elected district attorney in California. That's the first glass ceiling that she shattered. In 2010, she ran for California Attorney General. People did not think that she would win, but she did. Interestingly, Donald Trump donated to her campaign. He gave $5,000 in 2011 and $1,000 in 2013 to Kamala Harris. She was the first woman to hold the job. So another glass ceiling broken. During the Obama presidency, there were rumors that she wanted to become a Supreme Court nominee. That did not happen. But in 2016, she became a senator and thus began her active political journey. In 2018, Harris became known for her sharp questioning. Multiple videos of hers went viral. Impeccable memory. You've been speaking for almost eight hours, I think more, with this committee about all sorts of things you remember. Yes. How can you not remember whether or not you had a conversation about Robert Mueller or his investigation with anyone at that law firm? This investigation has only been going on for so long, sir. So Harris decided to capitalize on this popularity and fame. In 2019, she ran for the presidency. Initially, she was a Democratic frontrunner. She sparred with Biden in the debates, but voters were unclear of her position on multiple issues. And by the end of the year, Harris ended her campaign. But she did not endorse Biden immediately. She waited until March of 2020 to do that. In August that year, Biden chose her as his running mate. And when they won, Kamala Harris made history. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> she became the first female U.S. vice president. She's the first black vice president. She's the first Asian American to serve as vice president. So it's a lot of firsts. And that's been Kamala Harris's whole life. We have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that door down. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> so can she kick down the door to the Oval Office? It will be very tough. Her appointment may have been historic, but Harris's term as vice president has been lackluster. She did not stand out. In the first year, her approval ratings were at 28 percent, which is lower than former Vice President Dick Cheney. And that's saying something. He was the architect of the Iraq war. 
Harris fared even worse than that. Although a lot of observers say that Harris was like a typical vice president. She backed Biden's policies. She wasn't in the spotlight very much. She defended him during the debate about his age. She did everything that a vice president is expected to do. So she's been a fair vice president. But will this resume be enough to cross the next hurdle? Can Kamala Harris beat Donald Trump? His campaign is already taking shots at her. They're saying that she will be easier to beat. But here's what the polls say. Donald Trump is at 48%. Kamala Harris is at 46%. Technically, she's trailing, but she's doing better than Joe Biden. Can she build on this? At this point, she's fighting on two fronts, one against Trump and the second against her own party. You see, the Democrats haven't been too sure of her. She's been criticized for her policies, for not being able to take a stand. Some Democrats believe she did not live up to the hype, that she lacks the charisma to lead the party. Regardless, they don't have much of a choice. Kamala Harris has Joe Biden's backing. Some top Democrats are rallying for her. She's raising money and she has renewed a renewed support base. And she has time till August 19 to become the Democratic nominee. Biden has already tipped the scales in her favor. Now she must play all her cards right. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the 5th day, the T20 World Cup won by the Indians moved across to the West Indies for the new spectacles. Hello, I'm Alison Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special show. Start with a report on India's shifting nuclear costs. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital.